I was in an airplane and reading a magazine when I saw 12 pages of pictures of James Nactway and I was immediately struck by the quality and the power of these pictures and then I read the article about this man with this iron jeans and this white shirt and in this moment I knew this is my next documentary. This will be for me important to see what is the reality of war photography because I, th I think I you know, we know so much about wars because we, love, we watch these fiction movies, but actually this is a, a lot about stereotypes, you know. It's not really about the reality. So I was interested in what is really the reality behind the cliché, behind the stereotype. And that's what made me f make the film, finally. I think war photographer and the success of this film, which is now a classic, has a lot to do with a one single simple idea and the idea of putting small micro cameras to the photo still camera of this man because he's looking for authentic moments like you know this magnum tradition he's looking for the decisive moment and if i surround him with a crew a film crew i totally destroy this seek for pictures this seek for the truth this seek for the decisive moment so i think that was a crucial aspect of this film, the key also to Mr. Nachtway was the micro cameras. And also this idea allowed me to kind of step back. I didn't have to make the same decisions like this guy. You know, when it was very dangerous or where there was a fear of landmines, he would just go into the field in Kosovo and run. And I would tell my cinematographer, let's wait. And we are not going there. I'm not risking as much as my protagonist. So with this help of this micro camera, somehow it allowed me also to keep a distance. I was not going to be the same like him. At the beginning of War Photographer, I made a concept and a big part of this concept was the decision not to include too many interviews, not too many persons, like in the tradition of these American documentaries where you have these talking heads. I didn't want that. I wanted maybe four or five people kind of accompanying, uh, you know, Nachtway and giving another insight into this work. And the decision was also to portray these persons not only through the interview but also to introduce them properly with some sequence. So, for example, there is his ex-girlfriend and she's very important because that was his big love in his life. And she's very frank and she's very honest and she's also the one being capable to really challenge him by the big questions. Are you a vampire with a camera? Things like that. And you met in Jakarta, I introduce a young guy, he's like a cowboy, you know, he's much more, if you want, honest than Nagdwe, who's also kind of controlling himself a lot. I mean, this image of himself as a Zen Buddhist, as a very controlled, very calm. So um, this guy in Jakarta adds, I think, another aspect to, to the film. And then you have his best friend, then you have Christiane Amopour, she's quite a star, of course, and people like that. So it was very important to not to include too many persons, but to really portray them in a you know, classic documentarian way. War Photographer was a very difficult production. I think it would have only be possible as an independent producer to produce this film. You know, there was no security, there was no, no you know, the, all the equipment was not insured. I didn't have a contract with Nacte for a long time because he was so afraid of the film. So it was a very difficult production. But now, of course, with this worldwide success, you know, the film has been theatrically released in 10 countries, DVD versions all over the world, like 12, uh, TV uh, sales in 52 countries of the world. I mean, it's kind of a classic now. It belongs to the history of cinema. And I'm proud of the fact, especially, that every week, at least once or twice, I have to deal with the films. It's still going on. It's like, you know, it never stops. It's universities, it's cultural institutions asking me for help and for assistance to do something with this film. And this is something which makes me a little bit proud. I'm, I'm happy about that, of course. Okay.